Hey there, and welcome to my Reclamation and Establishment Part B video. <clears throat> I will be seeding this area, that area, as well as this area, with our Gandhi Spike and Seed Spreader. I will be laying down um, some ryegrass seed, and I want to be applying at 3.3 pounds per thousand square feet. So if we open the seeder up, it'll have a uh, species chart and recommended rates. So I'm doing ryegrass perennial and I said that I want to be doing 3.3 pounds per thousand square feet and I will be applying in two different directions. So I'm, I'm actually looking for around 6.5 to 6.6 .6 pounds per thousand square feet. <clears throat> so the gauge setting needs to be on 55, which I've already set to and the gauge setting is way tucked in back here. And I don't think you'll be able to see the uh, the numbers just because it's so tight in there. But I have it uh, all set up and ready to go. But the very first step before uh, anything is I will be scarifying these open areas with both uh, the spikes on the cedar and also a rake just to try and loosen up the, uh, the ground before I start laying some seed down. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that and I'll see you in the next part. So as I mentioned earlier, um, I was going to scarify the soil before I laid the seed with both the rake and the spike roller. Um, but while I was doing it, I'm noticing the rake is doing a really good job at getting some nice loose soil. So I'm going to just continue with the rake and then start seeding. And then once the seed has been laid, I'm going to be going over it with the spike roller to create that seed to soil contact and hopefully try and dip all the seed into the soil. So now that we have these open air, uh, areas scarified and prepped for seed, I can now begin to uh, spike and seed at the same time. And unfortunately due to the area I'm working in, it is very tight. Um, I would like to go crisscross with my seeder, but unfortunately that can't happen right now. So we'll just be going back and forth uh, twice. So now that we have both areas seeded, <clears throat> one issue that I have been running into is once I've gone through with the spiked roller, it was uh, bringing some leaves over top of my area. <clears throat> and I don't wanna be uh, lay layering any compost or organic material on top of these areas. So I very carefully went through and handpicked each leaf um, instead of backpack blowing and dispersing all my seeds and ruining my work. So the next step is to go to the shop, load with um, organic compost and come back and layer our seed with the compost. This just providing again, just insulation protection and a little bit of organic nutrients within the compost to provide nutrients for the seed. Um, once I have the compost laid on top, I'll come back and water. So I have my workman filled with compost and I have all areas seeded and ready to have compost on top. I think the most important thing while doing this is making sure you're not going too thick with the compost on top of the seed to choke it out. Uh, you just want enough compost on top to protect it from some wind and give it some organic nutrients, but not, not so much where it's actually affecting the seed itself. So I'm gonna begin now by very lightly um, applying the compost with just a shovel and uh, yeah. So I finished applying the compost on top of the seed and this is the final look. As you can see, it's not too thick, but just thick enough to provide some seed cover, wind cover protection. The next and last step will be watering and making sure that this area is left as untouched as possible from maintenance and golfers to try and give the seed the best fighting chance to uh, come back. Some contributing factors to why this may or may not work 
as you can see right here there are roots and this area is located directly underneath a tree so this is an experiment trial stage we tried sod before the sod didn't take so now we're trying this um, this approach and if this approach doesn't work which may happen um, we have a bunch of areas out on the course with pine straw already underneath the spruce trees and I imagine this area just getting tied in with some pine straw eventually but for now this is the uh, finished product I'm gonna go ahead and water and thank you for watching my video and I hope you have a great rest of your day